What is up, everybody? It's your gameplay therapist back with another deck therapy. That's what we're gonna call it from now on. So um, today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to download Minecraft and play mods and get it all up and running. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned and let's go. So first thing you want to do is you want to head over to the Discovery Store. We're looking for an app called Poly Minecraft. If you guys can follow my mouse cursor, you'll see what I'm talking about. Poly MC. We want to look for this app in discovery all right so once you're in discovery you want to search for poly mc you can just search it right here it doesn't really matter i have to really search into the other application just like poly mc in the top I'm gonna give it a look i did the wrong name let's just fix that real quick. so poly mc no spaces so yeah, I want to find this app, I want to install it. I have it all installed now, so there's no point in installing it, but this is what you want to find and install. Holly MC, not going to bother your deck, not going to hurt your deck at all. After that, recommend the step I want to say is you go over to Steam and you set this application as a non-Steam game. So this should be a fairly straightforward step as well, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. So you add game, add non-Steam game, and then you find poly mc and you want to add it because it's going to make a lot of sense later on so once you have this added here let's go and cancel that and close that once you've added the app now we can go and open poly mc it's going to take you into a window like this so this is basically what you need when you get in this window it's going to be a little trial and error not trial and error but like oh you know workarounds to get yourself signed in they so want to just get yourself signed in make sure you have a version of like minecraft and whatnot so get yourself logged in and once you're logged in it should look just like this it should be with just a basic minecraft launcher thingy and there's a lot of videos on youtube that kind of go through this so if my video doesn't help i'm sure there's a lot more that can help you guys so moving on to the next step is going to be downloading mods so once you have this window open, you've installed your, if I mean, signed in and you've basically got everything set up, you want to go to add instance. It's fairly straightforward, you know, add instance. I normally get my mods from Chris Forge, as you can see from the ones that I have currently. I'm just going to run and install one right now just to get it, like, you know, just so you guys can understand how it works. So we're going to install, let's see. All right, so I had a little, I had a little issue with the instance just now. It's because I missed a few download files. I'm gonna try and get one that's pretty smaller, with all the files included in the pack. Because having to download the extra files is gonna, you know, but that's straightforward as well. I'm gonna make a video on that very soon. But I just want to get the basic Minecraft thingy in here. So let's find a pack that's complex but pretty much simple all right so we're going to try and use parasites i don't know if parasites have any mods that i have to download to the side but let's test it out all right one mod okay so let's let's go ahead and download this mod and i'll show you guys how to add these mods so just click the link because it's straightforward when it just gives you the link to click or you can copy the link Copy. I'm doing this all in the deck, by the way. I don't have a mouse and keyboard as yet. So copy the link. Drop it in your browser. Download it. And you edit. Because I think it wouldn't work if you don't do it that way. Let's give it a go and see. Alright. Enter. Press Forge. Escape room. Blah, blah or decline you want to download here to download straight into your deck library if anyone knows downloading from curse forge we all know how that be so there it is completed i accidentally hit it twice did i hit it twice i might have did hit it twice all right so i'm just going to add them both because why not once you have it downloaded when they'll go back over to your thing it's looking for a 1.8.2 so we're going to download the 1.8.2 version download so once it's done the downloading thing just let it do its thing 
The other horror map had a few more that I had to add. I didn't really want to do all that. So I'm just going to use a basic one, which is this one. So you want to hit the instance, click, make sure it's clicked. Edit instance. You want to go to mods. You want to go to add file. Takes you over to your downloads. You want to look for the 1.8.2 jar file. You want to add it to the mod pack. And just to be sure that we have it. Oh. Any point. We want to launch game. Now, the same error that I told you guys about, the Java error, it always says that in the beginning. So remember to hit settings, Java installation, auto detect, either or, one or two. I always choose either or, it just works. But you just need Java 8 and then launch game. And if everything works smoothly, then the game should run just fine. All right, so the game's launched. It's right here in the window. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to get full controller support. See, it says it's 38 mods loaded. I'm gonna show you guys how to get full controller support with Minecraft on the Steam Deck. So what you guys wanna do is close this close this quick game basically and remember what I did in the beginning we added MC I mean poly MC as a game in Steam we want to head back over to our deck deck like UI basically all right once we're back in the decks library want to go over to poly MC it should be inside of your game so if it's not Use, you're gonna to go to library and wanna to go to non steam game poly mc. Reason why I'm launching it in here and not in the desktop mode is because this app utilizes the whole controller scheme for this mod. So, Parasite Slabs by Forge Labs, let's launch it and see what it do. And this is all launched from the Steam Deck itself, so we'll see what it do. I'll give you guys a little gameplay to show you how it works full time. Alright, so when it's loading in the beginning, I recommend giving it a little few seconds to load in because a lot of things are popping in right now. But I'm using my controller scheme right now. Everything is controller used right now. So I'm using my joystick to look around. This is a thick mod and the deck handles it very nicely. So it happens on any console really. When I load this mod on my desktop, it does the same type of little thingy. But look at it, bro. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm playing Minecraft Java modded with a controller. Oh my gosh, in handheld mode because I never normally play my um, deck in in um, that docked mode. I I never do that. But to get this recording and you know show you guys how to do skills, skills, skills. I can use my mouse trackpad as movement as well. As you guys can see, I'm pulling a 60 frames steady. Not steady, but <laughs> from time to time. But like I said, it's a beefy mod, and as soon as you start to mod this game, you start to push the deck to its limits, kinda. But I'd say keep everything at basic. Don't try to turn nothing up, because it looks great screen, deck screen. But I'm gonna just give a little short gameplay. I don't wanna play too much into it, because I don't really know how. Pretty little cows, pretty little pigs. Pretty little pigs and cows, wow. Fair warning as well, when you guys do mod this game, you can run into like instability issues. If that crashes due to the mod intensity. But that's that's minor. Get your titties in the twist. That's still a wonderful mod. It's that. That's it. This area looks sick though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Temple I was just going to. Oh my god, I'm just I'm all over the place. What is Oh, 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 oh. 
look kind of cute though. Not gonna hurt me. Good boy. Easy, good boy. Anyway, I'll get sidetracked. I'll get sidetracked. Oh yeah, back to the control scheme. I kind of got sidetracked and playing with the controllers. I want to just show you guys the controller. I feel so crazy for doing this. But basically, I'm using all everything. So I'm using my joystick here, my trackpad here. You can tell from the A to jump, X to throw things. Basically, normal um, Minecraft stuff. Y to put your inventory. You know what I'm saying? Be the crouch. Get the back buttons. This is your F5. One guys, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? And then you got your F4 thingy there. And you got I put my jump key in the back for some reason. I'm gonna show you guys all this mapping in here. So let's go get it. Hold up. Look at the layout. As you can see from the layout, everything here, like we got the radio menu that shows you R Q L V X. I'm gonna show the radio in a second. Scroll, uh, basically every button is technically mapped. Everything can be directional keys, M, T, C, F, all the special mod keys. So it's not like you're limited when playing mods because you can technically bring up every button that the mod would have. So L brings up your achievement, X, G, all these, these are not used in the mod pack itself, but you can always go and map these. But yeah, basically you can map all the keys. Mapping is pretty simple. Like if you have a Steam Deck, you should understand this by now. All this, all this shit for it. Like you have to be like Patrick Star to not get all this. But you know, this is a little gameplay. I don't want to play too much into it. Like I said, if you guys want to do, if you guys want me to do like that gameplay and shit like that, feel free to drop it down in the comments. I will always down it stuff like that. But I hope I've checked all the boxes. Would you guys how to download Minecraft? Install mods. Get your whole controller scheme up and running. Like, you guys want a control scheme? Go and look for mine. Go and look for mine. Kitsos of Glow. It should be up there. Like, go look for it. I know it might not have a lot of watches, not a, not a lot of playtime, but go and look at it. Because it is beautiful. Like I said, the layout is crazy. Lay out the whole key to just work. And it just works. Like, I play Minecraft for hours on the Steam Deck, and, and it's just phenomenal, like crazy shit. But I'm gonna close this video off here because I feel like it's a bit long now. But if you guys enjoyed it, always like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next Steam Deck therapy. You know, if you guys want to see something else, just let me know. I'll teach you guys how to mod something else if you guys are into modding game. So yeah, I'll leave it there. If you guys enjoyed the video, like I said always smash like and i'll catch you guys in the next steam deck therapy <laughs> peace